Good evening, everyone. Today I will show you how to inject DLL into your game Microsoft Intended Way without using some shady third-party software. This video is kinda prerequisite for some of my future videos, so I don't explain this each time. We will need Compatibility Administrator, which now is part of Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. Install it and run appropriate version, which depends on app, not on your Windows version. There you can see a bunch of applications and their fixes. We will create our new database, there must be one open, if not, click new. Now go to fix, select application. We don't need compatibility mode. We don't need compatibil compatibility. We don't need compatibility mods, so we will click next. Search for inject DLL, check it and go to parameters. In command line we put path to our DLL. I'm using just DLL name, so it will always look next to exe file. In here we will uncheck all and just use file name. And we get our database. Save it. Now we can right click it and install it. And we got another entry under installed databases. There are our settings. If you want to change them, you will have to do all steps again. Use edit application fix in your database, change what you need and reinstall it. Now we need actual DLL. I have one of my test DLLs. It just draw a white rectangle over the game using a hotkey. I need to put it in the same folder as game executable. After game started, I need to press the hotkey to activate my effect. Voila! It works. This is pretty much it. I will use this method to make some effects in games. But for love of god, don't you even think to use this method in games with anti-cheat. I think you will be banned if not instantly, but really quick. Anywho, there is this method. Use it wisely and carefully. As always, don't forget to please the algorithm. Have a good evening and bye-bye.